Use ControlNet for outpainting in a way that's even better than Photoshop. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Lately I'm dropping some gold nuggets on how to use Stable Diffusion for effective workflows and today I'm going to show you how to update ControlNet and use the new inpainting plus llama method and get the best results from that. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to do here is updating ControlNet and that is easy peasy. We just go to our extensions tab and then here you have the big check for updates button. You click on that and you will see that for your control net there is going to be an update over here. You simply need to click on apply and restart and wait for that to finish. After this is done, when you scroll down to your control net, you will see that you have these buttons here and there is an in-painting button also. When you click on that, this is going to load the in-painting method for you and then also the in-painting model. Now, you probably don't have the in-painting model yet on your drive, but this is going to automatically download for you the first time you use it. But wait a second, we are not using control net yet. Go up here, write your prompt for the image you want to have and get an image you like. Once you have found an image that you actually like, there is the possibility to use the outpainting right in text to image. For that, you would drag the image down here and then use control net. But I would suggest against it because first of all, it gives you limited options on how you can actually use that. And then secondly, it also works not as great as the method I'm going to show you right now. So instead, what you want to do is to right click and save this image on your drive. Then you're going to click here to send to image to image. So we have here the image we want to extend. And below that, of course, we have our control net again. So here you click to load the image and then you can enable the control net. You click down down here on the in paint button to load both of these models but as you can see here it loads in paint only but we need in paint only plus llama so click on the list and then go here and select this in paint only plus llama option in the control mode you want to select control that is more important but you can also experiment with the other methods and of course, down here, you have to set this to resize and fill so that this is actually filling the areas of the higher resolution rather than cropping your image to the new ratio. For the settings, I would suggest to you to use the sampling method DPM++ 2S A Keras. For the resize, set the resolution you want to have. So here I'm using 768 for the height as with the image I have rendered before, but then I want to have a bigger width of 1280 pixels. Now the next part is pretty important. For the denoise strength, you want to go rather high to create a new background that is still based on your prompt. So I would suggest to go between 0.75 and one, which is the highest value and can create a rather different image. So maybe you want to not go completely to one, but a high value of denoise is a good idea here. Also, I find it effective to go with a random seed. So you click here on this dice icon though, so that it says here minus one. Now with these settings, you can either go directly to generate your outpainting or you can set the batch size to a higher number to generate multiple outpaintings at the same time. I will set mine here to four. And here you can see the results that I got with a 0.8 denoise setting. I would say they are pretty beautiful and consistent with the image I have created. And here are also outpainting from other scenes so you have a comparison of how this looks. Let me know in the comments what other cool methods you think I should make a video about. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.